Okay, let's um, today uh, do the what's called the ladder corner problem in uh, calculus. And that's where we have a ladder right here. We have a hallway here that's 10 uh, whatever meters, feet, light years, inches. Uh, it's 10 whatever long, uh, wide, I'm sorry. And then we have a hallway here uh, that's 5 uh, whatever feet, meters, or whatever you want, any miles, whatever. Um, and what we'd like to know is, uh, we're bringing a ladder down here, and we'd like to know what ladder we can uh, uh, fit around this corner so that we can come out this pipe right here, uh, right uh, from the 10. We'll bring the ladder and come around the corner and go this way. So um, here's our ladder right here. Uh, again, this the width of this uh, hallway is 10, and the width of this hallway is 5. Um, we're going to define a variable here just for this uh, here uh, length right here of W. Uh, we'll define this one as A, uh, this side of the triangle that the ladder and the these two walls make. Uh, we'll make this triangle, so this will be A, this will be W, and this will be B right here. So let's get started with our equations. Uh, A right here, of course, is equal to W plus 5, because uh, if this is 5, then that's 5 right there. And um, uh, so A equals W plus 5. Uh, let's take a look at this triangle, W, uh, this length, and this length. Uh, there it is, W. Uh, of course, this length is 10, because that's 10. And so that's 10. And then let's look at the big triangle here, uh, A, B, and the length of the ladder. So A, B, and the length of the ladder. And of course, these two angles are equal, and these two angles are equal, which means that the sides come in proportion, are proportional. And that means that W over 10, W over 10 equals A over B, A over B, okay? Alrighty. Well, we'll stick, uh, we found out what A is W plus 5. We'll stick that W plus 5 right in there, and we get this. Uh, that's that, and this is this. Uh, we'll solve for B here in terms of W. So B equals uh, uh, 10 uh, W plus 5 divided by W. And then we'll uh, look at this triangle right here, and we'll notice that, of course, L squared, hypotenuse, I'm sorry, uh, Pythagorean's theorem, uh, L squared uh, is equal to A squared uh, plus B squared. Uh, do you know A? Yeah, I know A, W plus 5, so stick that into there, we get this. Do you know who B is in terms of W? Yep, he's all this stuff right here. So we'll stick all these people into there, and we'll get this squared. And we have two avenues to um, uh, minimize, uh, or I'm sorry, maximize this, uh, this ladder. And uh, uh, we want to find the largest ladder, of course. If you bring a, a one-foot ladder down a 10-foot pole, you can, of course, bring it there. So we want to find uh, the maximum length on the, on the ladder. And uh, in order... Uh, so anyways, we can either take the derivative of this, uh, set equal to 0, and solve for w, or we can uh, graph it if we don't know uh, uh, calculus. We do know calculus, but I don't want to get into the derivative of this. It's too messy. So I wanted to show you how to graph it uh, for those people who, so that everyone can solve it. Uh, people who know calculus and people who don't know calculus. Uh, for those who know calculus, you can go ahead and take the derivative of this with respect to w, uh, set equal to zero, solve for w, and you'll get w equals 7.937. And once you stick that back into here, you'll get that L squared equals 433, or that L equals 20.81. So that's the avenue there. Um, uh, for those who want to just graph it and see, uh, don't know calculus and want to graph it, um, uh, what we notice here is um, this is 10. Well, does that mean that this length right here must be bigger than 10 if you swing it this way? It's got to be, this has got to be bigger than 10. And uh, um, if, this is, um, if this is 5, when you swing this part of the ladder this way, uh, this part has to be bigger than 5. So this part, this part, this part has to be bigger than 10, and this length must be bigger than 5. Uh, here. So the whole ladder has to be bigger than 10 plus 5, or it's got to be bigger than 15. 
So we might figure that L might be between 15 as a lower bound, a 15, and a, maybe an upper bound of 25. Uh, sometimes when you do, do the price you pay by not doing a, a calculus, getting more sophisticated in your mathematics is, uh, when you do it numerically, you, you gotta you gotta mess around with different values. But we'll we'll, we'll get we'll get lucky and uh, go between you know between the, the length of the ladder is somewhere in between 15 and 25 feet, meters, light years, whatever you have, inches. Um, uh, we'll also notice that this this length right here, this width, uh, probably is going to be somewhere in between five and ten uh, here. You know, uh, if we just look at the geometry of this uh, uh, of this uh, uh, triangle right here, so we'll assume that the W is between five and ten. Again, uh, if you don't do calculus, then you're going to have to mess around with these numbers, and five and ten is doesn't give you a very good graph, then you'll have to go to 5 and 15 or, or 0 and a 7 or, you know, you'll have to mess around. That's the problem with um, not learning advanced mathematics. So, uh, but we'll, we'll try to take, get some pretty good educated guesses. I tried to show you how we, we determined uh, this uh, limiting factor and this limiting factor. And we need these because we need to know what our ranges are on our graph. Uh, we're going to graph W as a function, not of L, but of uh, L squared. Um, because we're going to minimize this whole term. And what, whatever W minimizes the whole term, uh, min, uh, L squared also, that W, same W, will uh, minimize or maximize uh, uh, L. So, uh, on a w, the W axis right here, we're going to look between, make our range between 5 and 10. If you do this on a graphing calculator, this would be x and this would be y. Um, yeah, I'll write that right here on your graphing calculator. Make this variable x and this variable y. And um, uh, so we'll do. We'll we'll make our range in our calculator or between uh, our graphing software between five and ten for w right there. And between, of course, this is we're going to graph this whole function right here. And we're not going to take do the the square root. We could do the square root. Just more stuff to type in. But you can actually just type in this and whatever graph minimizes this l squared will always the same value w will um, minimize uh, l. So. Uh, we'll square. Uh, we'll do L squared, so 25 squared here uh, for range, and 15 squared uh, right here. And we'll assume that our our graph will look somewhere in there. You're not supposed to see this. So when you make your ranges from 5 to 10 on X, and from 15 squared, which is 225, to about uh, 625 on Y, and when you type that into your graphing software and you graph it, you'll get a picture like this. Okay. And of course, we are concerned with this spot right here. And on a lot of calculators and graphing software, there's a there's a f uh, min that'll find your minimum of your um, uh, curve right here. And when we find that minimum, we find out that w is 7.937, the same thing we would have gotten if we'd have taken the derivative of this. And um, if we'd have taken that, uh, uh, we'll uh, the, the the calculator will give you the y value also will be 433. Of course, we're graphing l squared. W is a function of L squared, and so um, at 433, that'll be L squared. Uh, of course, we want the length of the ladder, so we want just L. So we'll take the square root of both sides, and we get 20.81 uh, meters, feet, inches, whatever the 10 meters, uh, the 10 and the 5 are units are, uh, inches, centimeters, light years, whatever. You might have a gigantic spaceship you need to move around a, uh, down one black hole tunnel, wormhole and then uh, around the bend of another one <laughs> okay so we get a length of 20.81 and so uh, if we have a, 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 a that tells us that if we have a hallway of 10 and we bring a, a ladder down and we want to fit it in a hallway uh, around the corner in a hallway that's only five uh, wide uh, from 10 wide to five wide bring the ladder around your ladder can the the biggest it can be is a uh, 20.81 of course, your ladder might not be infinitely thin, so you might want to do a little bit smaller than 28.1 if your ladder has a has a little width to it. Uh, you know, most ladders uh, look like that. So if they have a little bit of width, you might go a little bit shorter than a 20.81, depending on how big your the width of your ladder is. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lecture. I look forward to any comments at the bottom. Thank you very much for watching.